What's up, y'all? Back to some more free game. Go ahead, and like, comment, subscribe below. Let's get right to the video, guys. Hop right to the video today, y'all. Five signs you have no game. You feel me? Now, I was talking to um, my sister yesterday, and I was basically trying to explain to her what game is. I feel like it's important that y'all know what game is exactly in this context. You feel me? So, basically, what game is, as far as dating goes, as far as um, being intimate with a woman or a man, if you are a woman watching this, the only thing you really need to know when it comes to game is how to raise the other uh, sex's interests. You feel me? If you a man, well, basically for y'all a man out there, being able to be a smooth talker, having a way with words. You feel me? Your conversation is appealing. You know how to give a girl that butterfly feelings just verbal, just, just, just with your verbal. You feel me? So, or you got like real good comebacks. Anything to where you have above average communication skills and dating, you feel me? Is more so gonna be verbatim what game is type shit. Now, it is a lot of layers to game. Like game can also be what you know, your knowledge. You feel me? I'm gonna wait a week to call a woman back because my game is I want you to think that I'm a busy, high quality, high value man who don't got a lot of time on my hands and bitch you gotta fight for my time. Bingo. You feel me? So, game is it's really a lot of layers, but in this context, a man who doesn't have no game. Number one, you can't maintain the girl attraction and her interests in dating or rotation, blase, blase. You feel me? If you got, if you a man who got a lot of girls who you have a lot of one night stands with, or a lot of times girls they just after talking to you for so long they go MIA. You feel me? You notice that you can't really keep a girl around for a I'm not talking about a relationship either, you feel me? It could apply to a relationship. I'm saying any duration of time when you're dealing with a girl, you feel me? And basically, you can't keep her mentally and emotionally stimulated, invested with her feelings long enough, you feel me, to where she's looking forward to your company, to where she's um, highly attracted to you, to where she sees you... She doesn't see any weakness in you because you, we already know bitches come with a lot of shit tests. You feel me? Their interests fluctuate on the daily. You can't maintain her interest for a long time. You feel me? A lot of this is going to come back to your conversation isn't stimulating and interesting enough when she's around you. You feel me? To the point to where she wants to see you often. She wants to see you a lot. You feel me? If she isn't, you might, you might be highly attractive to her and there's going to be a lot of times a man who's highly attractive, the Prince Charming motherfuckers, the niggas who got above average looks. You feel me? The man who getting a lot of swipes on Tinder, the man who on social media, and he got a lot of bitches in his inbox because, you feel me, he's highly attractive. He, he just look better than the average man, you feel me? And it's not nothing gay. It's not, I can't, I'm not really homophobic, but I can look at a man and tell if you got, I can look at a man and tell if you highly attractive or not, you feel me? Let's just be mature in this video. So you can't maintain a girl's interest for a long period of time. You don't, a lot of times we get comfortable and we start falling into patterns, you feel me? And we just stop trying. But sometimes you can't, you just don't have the game to be able to keep a girl emotionally and mentally stimulated long enough, you feel me, to where she's into you. She's got that, them butterfly feelings. You can hold long, deep, meaningful conversations with the bitch. No game, you feel me? You just got good looks, maybe a lot of clout, great personality, but your game ain't really there, you feel me? So you can't, seduce her over a long period of time. The second one is gonna be, you get friends on a lot. You feel me now? With this, if you get friends on a lot, that mean girls aren't sexually attracted to you. That mean that they not, they don't look at you in a sexual way. You don't, they don't really look for you for romance or romantic bond. You not the dude who gonna be digging out her guts. You feel me? You gonna be the dude who you probably either socially awkward now let's all this shit come back to purpose at the end of the day. You feel me? Now maybe you wasn't her type. Maybe you, your looks not there. Maybe you're too short. Maybe she was looking at your package. She just came to the conclusion that you got a, a small penis. You feel me? <laughs> but at the end of the day, when determining why you get friends on a lot, a lot of the time your game is weak. You corny. You feel me? A lot of time a girl will give you her number. Y'all exchange numbers. You feel me? You set a date. And maybe initially she saw you as a, a nine or ten, maybe eight, nine or ten, even a seven. You feel me? Women aren't as visual as us, so she might see you as a seven, eight, nine or ten. Really about an eight, nine or ten, honestly. You feel me? And after spending, uh, after having a few links with you, after going on a few dates, 
a couple FaceTime calls, maybe on the phone. You feel me? A lot of bitches don't even let it get past texting. A lot of women, they just, you feel me? They got so many men they juggling. They don't want to really get to know you because they got high, higher quality options. They want to keep your ass in the fucking free attention zone. So when you dealing with a woman, bro, if when you talking to her, she see that you really corny, you really, you don't have a way with words, you feel me? You don't know how to, uh, well, I'm going to say that for the next one, but when dealing with the woman, when she finally links with you and spends time on a date, she says you corny. You feel me? You really don't know how to progress conversation with her. You don't know how to hold a good conversation. You feel me? Maybe you look good, but you're not a good look. And that's the reason why a lot of y'all get friends on, bro, because girls, they don't see you in that sexual light. They don't really get butterflies. You feel me? They, they get a good conversation. They get... You got a great personality, but you not the man who she lusts after. You feel me? You not the man who you're able to charm with your words type shit. A lot of times, you feel me, y'all friends on y'all sales because you so nervous. When you get around a woman, you feel me, It's you give her like a friendly vibe. You give her like, it, it, it's more bromance than romance, basically, you feel me, quote unquote. So if you're giving the bitch bromance, you're going to get friends on. If you're giving her romance, if you're giving her a romantic vibe, if you're charming, you feel me, if you pretty much flirt with her, a lot of y'all are scared to flirt. You feel me? And this will land you in the friend zone too because you scared to pretty much be sexually seductive with her because you don't, maybe you feel like um, it's just you being nervous. Maybe you just feel like that's, that's something that that's not going to turn her on. And a lot of times, bro, females, they want a man to be aggressive. They want us to be, uh, we, we got to be the dominant ones. You can't be weak, a, a weak little emotional bitch who's scared to pretty much flirt with this girl, you feel me? Maybe even touch her. Not in the fucking pedophile way. I don't want you to grab the bitch arm and take her in the fucking side of the I want you to, a light, gentle touch. You, that's a whole nother video, but just make sure that y'all not, because I done did this shit in the club. I made this mistake to where I didn't touch the girl touch the girl too aggressive and a lot of y'all gotta understand women they naturally they want to be safe and they want to feel secure so if you're giving her aggressive vibes you feel me she's gonna be turned off to your ass because she gonna maybe you, she might think you might try and take her home that night and abuse her rape the bitch who knows women are constantly fighting for their survival you feel me? they in survival mode so if you're coming off as, as a charming charismatic um seductive man a man who is basically soft and gentle but masculine at the same time you feel me then she's gonna give you the energy that you want from her which is feminine submissive you feel me and she's gonna be receptive to your game but if you a dude you being aggressive you just acting like a thirsty uh naive motherfucker who just don't know how to handle herself around girls you feel me you're gonna get either friend zone or cut the fuck off she won't even give you a chance the next one is gonna be you nervous around women now a lot of times the problem with red pill channels on YouTube, you got a lot of above average men te teaching average men how to apply game with women. You feel me? So now, although these men do have above average knowledge, step is cold, fit X, fearless, and mesh, you feel me? They are good looking. So I'm pretty sure that they have had their flaws in the date game. They probably got flaked on, had a girl make them wait two, three months for sex, but they had better results than the average dude. The reason I say this is because they don't really see things from the lens of a blue pill simp who naturally just have bad results. You feel me? Before they even became a dang coach, they had their way with women. They had 50, 60 bodies under their notch because they was they probably was nervous, but they wasn't so, so nervous to the point where it came off as socially awkward when approaching these women. So the third sign you have no game, when you go around girls, bro, you awkward. You feel me? You nervous. And this nervous energy pretty much basically is displayed to a woman as you being having no confidence you feel me you not having no game man you go you go hey my, my name is jake how, how you doing uh how your day you feel me if you just going around her you act like you don't know what to say you're not making eye contact you're not facing her you feel me you shaking your fucking hands in your pocket you just twiddling with your fucking keychain doing all these different things that's gonna make her feel like you're not used to approaching a woman Maybe for whatever reason, you had a couple of Casamigo drinks and you went up to the bitch, gained some confidence to talk to her. But when you when you went up to her, you feel me, you, just, you forgot that you usually don't approach women. So now you don't know what to say. Now you real nervous. And this nervous energy is going to be conveyed to her as low value, low quality. A man who I don't want to get a pussy to. A man who I don't even want to get a, a time of day to. So it's really no quick fix for being nervous. The only quick fix that you can use is 
developing a lot of experiences with approaching women. You feel me? Going up to maybe 50, 100 girls, going to different clubs, getting over that approach anxiety. You feel me? And then approaching her. Even if you get a girl back to your house, you feel me? And, you, and this is going to the next one. If you get a girl back to your house and you really scared to touch her a little bit, you feel me? You scared to try and escalate things. You just showing any sign of weakness as a beta male sent bitch. You just giving her simp energy, you feel me? This is gonna turn her the fuck off, bro. You, th you think you think a girl who you, th you think a, a girl who's approached by a man who's nervous, you think she's thinking about fucking you? Cause a lot of times when you fuck a girl, she already knows she wants to have sex with you. you yo, your game had about half, it, it, it was about halfway efficient as far as getting the pussy. So the next one is you don't know how to progress things in sex. You feel me? And the reason I say this is because a lot of y'all, now this is kind of like, I say low key advanced game because of being able to talk a girl to into fucking you, bro, that takes a little bit effort and game. The reason I say that is because a lot of times when you get a girl back to your house, bro, in her head, she wanna fuck you, but she not gonna make it easy for you, you feel me? So she pretty much gonna have her guard up and she gonna pretty much get an energy that I didn't come here to fuck. But if you can talk me into fucking you, you feel me? Then I have sex with you tonight. A lot of times, if a girl's highly attracted and interested, she already wanted to fuck you. That's why she coming to your house one, two o'clock in the morning for a sneaky link. You feel me? She want to get a walk to you anyways. But if you're not making her feel sexy and feel seduced, then a lot of times, you feel me, she might challenge you so much to where you just give up. And now you just feel like she don't want to fuck you. So now you feel me, you stop trying verbally. You stop trying to seduce the bitch. So the fourth sign that you have no game, bro, you can't progress things from getting a girl to your house to having her naked in your bed, giving her back shots, putting the bitch hair, spitting in her mouth if you nasty like that. I know it's a lot of y'all nasty motherfuckers who do that nasty shit. So if you don't have the ability to talk a girl into fucking you, I'm not saying rape. I don't want the fucking, all the rape bitches to come on my channel. I don't, I'm not saying rape a woman. I'm saying be able to seduce her, entice her with your words. You feel me? Coerce her into, into wanting to sleep with you that night. You feel me? She already want to fuck you. All you got to do is have a wordplay and be able to sweet talk a girl into wanting to give you the guts. You feel me? So the fourth one, you can't progress things in sex. You take a girl pretty much keep having her guard up and not want to and acting like she don't want to fuck you. It's her literally not wanting to fuck you. You feel me? You don't know how to get past those those initial shit tests. And the last one is gonna be, and the last one is gonna be, you get a lot of rejections. You feel me? If you always go to the club and maybe you get rejected by 19 bitches and maybe that one girl give you her number, you feel me? That means that your game is weak. A lot of times, bro, some women don't really care about your physical. She don't really, all she looking at, do your fucking breath smell decent, is your cologne game on point? You feel me? Do you not like a fucking serial killer, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer ass motherfucker who gonna take her in the back of the club and rape the bitch? She, she's looking for a decent guy with above average game. You feel me? So, or maybe an attractive dude with average game. So if you're going up to a girl, bro, and like I said, and all the previous things I said before, whether you just talking to her and you acting nervous, a lot of times some of y'all got high confidence. Some of y'all. You feel me? Y'all feel like your game is on point, but y'all really corny. You feel me? What you, what's coming out your fucking mouth isn't seductive. What's coming out your mouth isn't really verbally appealing and appeasing to her as far as what she's hearing, bro. A lot of times, it's real hard. Now, let, let me flip the script real quick. With women, us men, we really don't give a fuck what a girl say to get our number because we don't, we don't really get approached as much as the girl get approached. So she can come up to us and just... What's up, how your, how your day going, blase, blase, you feel me? What you drinking? She might ask some little simple questions. Or she might, like I was with my bro this past weekend, a girl just came up to him. You feel me, you don't got a bitch that's gonna come fight me if I get your number. He said no, she asked for his number and just gave it to her. Do you think if we flip the script, a man can get a girl number that easily? No, because a woman expects more out of a man than the effort she wouldn't have put in to get the man that she want in the same scenario. You feel me? So in this situation, bro, when going up to a woman, you gotta talk your shit to her. You gotta be able to pull her guard down with your words. All game is, in the most purest form, when dealing with a bitch, bro, you feel me, is being able to raise her interest with your words 
to where she likes you a little bit when give you her number. You feel me? So if you able to do that with your words, bro, if you going up to a girl, you being corny, you acting like you don't know how to hold a conversation. If you just saying these little pet names, calling her baby sweetheart, you feel me? Your all this little uh, lame, corny shit that, that you guys say, you feel me? If you saying anything that's turning her off, or if you just coming off as a nervous man, an awkward man, a man who don't really know how to hold a conversation with a woman, a man who's not used to approaching a woman, a man who make the wrong type of approaches, you feel me, no social awareness, then you're gonna get a lot of rejection, bro. Outside of maybe you, you you short, she like tall, man, outside the fact maybe you black, she like white dudes, or vice versa, you feel me? Or maybe it's just she on her period, and she, she a moody bitch right now, you feel me? A lot of these are gonna contribute to the factor that you don't have no game. You don't know how to smooth talk women. Game, like I said, raising the girl interest with your verbal, you feel me? Or you got a pilling conversation, you feel me? You real seductive, you got great comebacks. When she talking to you, you feel me? She's mentally engaged and you feel me? She liked the little games that you playing with her in the art of love, you feel me? I'm not saying you in love, you in love with the bitch, but in romance, you feel me? So five signs you had no game. You get friends on a lot, a lot of rejections. You can't progress things with, you got a lot of times where you can't progress things with sex when you get a bitch over. You're you nervous around women. And also you can't maintain a girl interest over a long period of time. I'm Cash Free Game, like, comment, subscribe below. I love y'all, see y'all later.